Let's talk about porn. Porn is getting too easy to access these days. Like you could just be on your phone, innocently checking the day's financial news, or maybe you're sending an email to your dead grandmother. And next thing, boom, you're confronted with hardcore pornography. And then you lose an entire afternoon. Oh boy. Back in my day, we used to get porn the old school way, by accidentally finding nudie magazines in the forest. That's the way it's been for generations. That's, that's the way God intended it to be. Um, I'm sorry, what? But these days, smartphones have enabled a dystopian hellscape where 11 year olds have access to hardcore Japanese tickle machine videos while they're on the school bus. Or some child could be innocently looking for fucking Minecraft montage videos and next thing they end up watching 1970s Danish donkey porn. So for this video we're going to go back to the old school vibes and we're going to learn about some porn in the forest. Some medieval porn in the forest. Today we're going to learn all about the maddest bastard to ever dip his stick in exotic oils and rub his bulging brush over a silky white virgin canvas. 500 years before Hugh Hefner shocked the world with his syphilitic publications, there was another creep in town. A creepier creep whose erotic hallucinations are still causing uncomfortable erections five centuries later. Hieronymus Bosch, the Dutch painter your parents don't want you hanging out with, is responsible for possibly the horror the horniest, orgiest work of art of all time, the Garden of Earthly Delights. We know very little about Hieronymus. Like, there's no, there's no letters, there's no records of his life or anything. The only thing we have of his is his paintings. And we, <laughs> there's enough of his paintings left for us to know that this lad was a grade A lunatic. Chapa. Sadly, only a fraction of his work actually survives to this, uh, to this day. I presume the vast majority of it ended up being lost in some forest waiting to be found by, uh, by some medieval teenage boys. So why don't we actually just pop in, take a stroll around this town and see what the crack is. Here we go, boy. Den Bosch, or in English, The Forest, is a city in the south of the Netherlands that was home to our spicy protagonist Hieronymus Bosch, and his sticky fingertips can still be found all across the city to this day. Art sniffers can stroll around and discover characters from his most famous creation, which were installed on the 500 year anniversary of his death, so you can feel like you were invited to the RG2. If I do look particularly sweaty in this episode, it's not just because of the heat, but because the big bad boy Bosch's buddies have got me in a constant state of low level arousal. And uh, this is the uh, Euronymous Bosch Art Centre, which is located in my favourite kind of church. A former church. It's, uh, it's unfortunately closed though, but uh, the old cough cough situation. So maybe next time. The Garden of Earthly Delights is a triptych which is a painting split into three parts telling the story of humanity. On the left panel here we got the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve having a chat with our buddy God. Pretty basic shit so far. It's only when we get to the middle panel that the situation gets truly spicy with the wildest scenes ever portrayed on canvas. Sexual depravity so niche that they don't even have their own subgenres on Pornhub and that's a serious achievement. The third panel on the right contains hellish visions that could only be described as the horror of post not clarity and we've all been there. It would be impossible to overstate how mind-blowing this would have been 500 years ago. 
I mean, honestly, it's, it's still pretty freaky today. Let's start with the first panel. Depending on your viewpoint, this is either to signify the innocence of humanity before we got corrupted by the devil and his sinful ways, or my man God is the bouncer to a Berlin sex club. The direct translations from the Dutch name of this painting is actually the Garden of Lust, and if that ain't the name of a sex club, then I don't know what is. Here she is now, Eve, everybody's ma'am. She's looking well. It's got a better vantage point here. Damn, that's pretty cool. How are you, love? This is how I know that like, none of these renditions of the Bible are true. Cause I know for a fact, I know for a fact that in the middle ages, they definitely had pubes. That's just, that's just fact. And even if this is a, not from the Middle Ages, but a depiction of the first woman on earth, do you think the first woman on earth was shaving her pubes? She had no one to impress. Adam, you think Adam gave a fuck? What was he gonna do, go looking for the other women? Nah. I don't know, man. In fact, if, if you actually look at the Garden of Lust, there, there is not a pube to be seen in the entire painting. And I guess we'll probably go to a, a some, pubic cuts right now let's take a trip down memory lane to a faraway place with no rain and no pain when you're out on the plane make it there's no shame this domain ain't the place to abstain Bitch, I'm, I'm the, the bosh. bosh There's a whole lot of hot shit Rockin' in my mosh pit Balls up there, back I'm hoppin' on a horse I'm the fella stickin' flowers up my arse I got the pox down the docks Now the doc says I gotta get a wash Cause I'm not too posh to get squashed When I'm going for the roll in the mosque Gettin' topless like the Scots Oh my god! Bring the whole entourage to massage On my crotch while I watch And I'm about to pop if I don't slow down or stop From the shock of this sloppy mirage What a fox have you ever been cock blocked by a strawberry well if you have girl you're gonna get what i got bitch i'm the boss when life is monotonous bitch i'm the boss when your wife's not monogamous bitch i'm the boss it's time to leave the megalopolis and gobble me down to your esophagus bitch i'm the boss if you got pride swallow it bitch i'm the boss like a fish no problem bitch i'm the boss hey i'm the one that they call around and miss follow me because i know where the orgy and the forest is and here's a statue with a big boy himself I fucking there boy standing several meters high they should probably call him ginormous boss imagine imagine this show had like a laugh track the whole way through I'd be like uh, they should call him ginormous boss <laughs> Smack bang in the middle of them bush. His head remains covered in pigeon shit while he creeps on the people below. And if he was to suddenly spring forth to life today, he'd still be able to find his way around town, do you know what I mean? Like the town actually remains essentially uh, the same layout as it did like five, six hundred years ago. Some lad. And in fact, his gaff was right over there. Except now it's, it's fucking covered in scaffolding shit. I don't know, man. They're, they're trying to keep the truth from me. Everywhere I go, all the fucking areas are covered in scaffold. They're trying to, they're trying to stop this steamy, spicy truth. Decline of Vince. You alright, bud? A lighter? I don't think I have one, man. I might have one in the bag for special occasions. <laughs> I'm trying to make a, trying to make a show oh, here. No, no, no. You don't want to be seen on the camera, like you're. No, no, no. I don't. I don't have uh, fire. 
You want this fire? No. You want the hot, hot truth? The hot fire? No. You're all good, my man. You don't want to be seen on camera. I was going around the, the statue a minute ago. You were like, nah, man. You thought I was the FBI or something. No, I am the police. You're the police? Shit, man. What happened to Hieronymus Bosch's place, man? What's the crack? Trying to make a video about Hieronymus Bosch, they're covering it up. No, I don't go over there because the police can see me over there. The police can see you over there? Yes, and the police... Hey, I'm not gonna... I wouldn't... I would never film someone who doesn't want to be filmed, man. I'm trying to... Just doing my own, uh, my own, uh, cringy thing. No problemo. Stay cool, brother. Yeah. Mr. Policeman. Yes, of course. So, uh, Hieronymus Bosch's old place, I would love to show it to you, but uh, as per usual, everywhere I go, everything is fucking closed down. They're trying to stop the steamy, sticky, spicy truth. But sure, there you go. There are many theories that Bosch was a member of a freaky sexual cult called the Brethren of the Free Spirit, whose general belief was that God is good and God is love and everything is God incarnate, so nothing can be sinful if everything is God, right? So I guess that means it's okay to fuck a fish. At least I think that's what it means. Are you trying to tell me that this man wasn't in an RG organization? If you made this shit these days, you'd probably be sent to the police station. A lot of oddball pornographic antics making me horny in the Bosch painting. Are you really trying to tell me this man wasn't in an RG organization? Hieronymus, Hieronymus, Hieronymus Bosch. Hieronymus, Hieronymus, Hieronymus Bosch. I wanna fuck a monster and keep it all anonymous. Hieronymus, Hieronymus, Hieronymus Bosch. Hieronymus, Hieronymus, Hieronymus Bosch. His name's Hieronymus, Hieronymus, Hieronymus Bosch. I wanna join an orgy and fuck a hippopotamus Hieronymus, Hieronymus, Hieronymus Bosch <clears throat> Lovely bridge Lovely canals everywhere And... What the fuck? Who's this fella? What the fuck? Some creep hiding in the forest Let's have a look uh, if I fall in, this is going to be a very different video, but let's have a look. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Now we got two creeps hiding in the fucking forest. Okay. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. What the? Fuck is he up? Is he taking a shit? I think he's having one of those sneaky forest wanks. So uh, I think we should probably leave him to it. See you later, bud. Fuck's sake, okay. Uh, fucking legs. I'll be back with part two in a couple of days This episode was too long in a couple of ways But first I gotta give a shout out to a couple of names Who made a couple donations on the Kofi page First up is Dwayne N, you're a saint, you're a gen Secondly we got my man Adam G once again And the bold George S, top dog, God bless You and Dominic N are some prominent men Then we got Richard C, he's a hero to me Loose as a goose, just like the cool Stuart G and Alessandro M, you're the master of the realm And Anthony K, thanks for making my day